Go. All right, question number five. This is the opportunity for them to sell you. You're just not selling. Sell me that you're the right person for the job. You're putting in a different phrase. So what makes you the most qualified person for this position? And why do I need to stop my search right now? Yeah, that's, I think most people would struggle to answer that. If they have a big ego, they're gonna go into that selling mode. If they're desperate for a job, they've been looking for a long time, they're gonna go into that selling mode. The right answer might be, I'm not sure I'm the most qualified person. Yeah, you yeah. didn't even know that I was asking these questions, dude. <laughs> like, dude, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> I, because I don't know enough about your organization. I don't know enough about your, your goals for this organization. I haven't met the people I'm working with. I, at this stage of this thing, I feel qualified. And, and, and that, that level of self-awareness in a candidate uh, means that they're going to have that self-awareness in other situations, and it's probably probably pretty interesting. What I'm really looking for in this question is whether or not they have confidence, but also humility, to be able to recognize. I don't even know. You know, it sounds like you got a really good team of people around you. I don't know if I can hand step up to the challenge, or you know, I am up for the challenge. You you're trying to get a response and engage through these interpersonal interactions and these specific questions, we're not asking them yes or no questions, we're asking them to get a gauge and allow them to tell us a story to get a feel for whether or not this person is the right fit for us. Yeah, and the last thing you want to do is, is, is hire a prima donna that comes in and expects to be treated better than everybody else who's been there for a long time. That can expose itself right here uh, if, if you're listening. So. The right person for the job is probably one who's, you know, wants to measure you as much as you're measuring them. Uh, you certainly can look at work history and see if they've bounced around or if they stuck a long time at the few jobs they had before you. There's a lot of context clues that you look for. Mm -hmm. The dialogue that comes out of this question, if you'll just shut up and, and make the awkward silence to where they, they have to start talking, that's going to tell you. And you're going to pick it up in the, uh, in the nervousness in their right. voice, the tone that they have, whether or not their shoulders are soft. This is really more of a body language cue of a question to give you an insight as to whether or not they perk up and they get excited or if they're already defeated because we've already asked some really tough questions. Yeah. And this is giving you the ability to understand at the end of the day, are you going to be able to hold this person accountable to managing your business? And if, they, they, if they're already slouched at this point, you can probably say that this is not a good candidate. Yeah, there, there needs to be a certain level of energy and intellectual stimulation that comes out of this. If they're going to be managing your sales, managing your personnel, managing your systems, uh, they, they can't shy away from something like this. Press the subscribe button to stay updated with the latest.